Welcome, so now we're going to take you back through the Autopilot V2 enrollment and setup here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start through this process. It's going to look a little bit different. What I will tell you is before you start, just make sure you've updated your OS fully, especially if it's an old device. I had some issues with that, not realizing I needed a certain patch level on 23H2. But a lot of this is stuff you'll be familiar with, as you see. So one thing kind of different here, it's asking you to name the device. So we'll just call it whatever we want to call it. Hit next. That's one of the, the things that a lot of people don't like about Autopilot V2, aka device preparation, is that you put a little more control in the hands of the user. But the trade-off is, is that you also buy a much better user experience, which is really the name of the game. We've got our reboot kicking off now. So now we're coming back up. Normally you'd be seeing the regular autopilot, you know, fun times. But let's see what we actually see this time. So not what you were expecting. I'm going to do my setup for work or school. So at this point, you're starting to think, okay, maybe it's not really working. Now we're just going to sign in with Okta. And as we sign in, let's see what happens next. The inevitable question is, did I screw this up? Or is it actually going to go through device preparation, which is always the, the stressful piece. And look at that. So this is what I was talking about, how you have a, this elevated user experience. So right now it's telling you, okay, now right now we're installing the IME, or the Intune Management Extension. So which is pretty cool, right? So you can see it's a whole new world. So yeah, you there is some a trade-off, but you can see here is now you really get a really good idea of what's going on. And within the, the policy like we covered in my previous video, you're really cultivating what you want to happen here, what scripts, what apps. But overall, it's a really kind of a neat experience for the user. So you can see IME is now done. So now it's installing any required apps policies that we're hitting up on here. So you can see here, and it's obviously it's telling you that. So we finally hit our 100% many moons later. We're going to hit next. Okay, so now some stuff we are familiar with. As we're just about done here. So this is a little bit different, but just something to get used to. So I end up having to log in, the kind of generic logging screen. And it kind of fakes you out, because I'm like, did I do something wrong? Did I break my machine? But no, it's okay. It's doing its thing and it's going to take you through that normal experience of what you would, you would have been used to.
Now our old friend, the Windows Hello. It's hitting OK. And so we're just going to log in one more time. And here we set our pin. Nothing new. But those of you keeping track at home, it takes about 35 minutes end to end, and we're in. Just that simple. It's going to finish things up.